Welcome back guys, it's Brandon with SwoleDaddyDetroit.com and today I wanted to do a 16 week update uh, for my upcoming, my first time NPC Men's Physique show. As of today, Saturday, we are exactly 16 weeks out from the show. Um, so I've been dieting now for almost like two weeks, like a week and a half or so. Um, so I think when I started, we were looking, uh, we were like 210 pounds or something like that. And uh, as of this morning, I'm down to like 203.6. Uh, yesterday I was actually 202, so just a little bit of a fluctuation this morning. Um, but we're making pretty good progress. Last week on Saturday, I was 205. So we're down about a pound and a half or so, um, you know, and, and at some of the high versus lows of the week, I was as much as four pounds lower this week. So anyway, it's doing really good. Uh, for the last week, I've been doing, uh, my average calories were about 2,500 calories, like just a little bit over. Um, I think I went a little high last weekend, 2,800, 3,000 for like Saturday or Sunday. And then during this week, we were about 2,400, 2,500. So um, I'll probably stay right around there. Hopefully, maybe just lower calories just a little bit this coming week, um, 2,450, 2,400, something like that. And just kind of see what change uh, happens because we have about 28 pounds to lose uh, going into the show, you know, I have a little calculator that I put together. And basically I think based on like my fat free body weight, uh, as of today, I would need to be around say 175 going into the show and I'm 203. So we got about 28 pounds to lose in the next 16 weeks. So we've got uh, basically about two pounds a week to lose maybe for the next 10 weeks. And then we can take those last six weeks and lose, you know, around a pound. So I think that's probably, the strategy going into this, right? Uh, so the other thing I've been doing this last week is just kind of cleaning up the diet. Um, so I've decided that there's no more alcohol, you know, for the next 16 weeks. So I think that's going to be a big help for me because that's always, uh, always an issue when you have some drinks on the weekend, those extra calories. And then on top of it, you end up uh, actually, you know, overeating or, you know, eating some food once you've uh, you got a little buzz going. So completely eliminating that, um, started incorporating like a lot of potatoes into the diet for extra carbs. And so usually I don't really care about macros except for protein. I usually I just make sure I'm getting, you know, 200 grams of protein, let's say. Uh, but now I'm trying to actually make sure uh, that we're getting lower fats, trying to keep fats, say 40 to 60 grams and then uh, carbohydrates, keeping that around 200 or above, and then protein a little bit higher, 200 or above. So that's kind of where we're at now. Um, and this is probably what we'll do and just keep monitoring things until we go, until maybe eight weeks out. Um, and then we'll, we'll maybe make some bigger adjustments if we need to adjust the cardio from that point, maybe up to two sessions, you know, like, like maybe an hour a day of cardio if we need to. But right now we're still just doing uh, six days a week, 30 minutes of steady state cardio. So nothing crazy. Uh, my heart rate stays between say 120 to 160. Um, you know, it tends to increase as you get towards the end of the 30 minutes, but nothing too crazy right now. Um, so probably what I'll, I'll do is I'll plan to start to actually taper the cardio uh, and increase it, maybe go to 45 minutes um, once we get to maybe 12 weeks out. And then once we get to those eight weeks, that's probably where we'll do the 60 minute sessions. But by that time, it'll be around April. And what I'm hoping is I can start to actually ride my bike too. So maybe I'm still doing 30 minute sessions after my training at the gym and then a different part of the day or maybe even going to and from the gym, I can ride my bike. So that would give me the extra 30 minutes I need because it's about 15 minutes each way to the gym. So just little simple things like that uh, can, can really help and you know still keep it low impact um, so I can recover, still train hard, um, you know, because really it'd be awesome. You know, I need to at least maintain where I'm at right now as far as muscle mass. Uh, but if I can make any improvements and any strength gains while being in a deficit and all this, um, that would be awesome. So it's, uh, we've got a long way to go. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but the leanest I've ever been was last summer. And I think I was only around 15%, 16% body fat. So to try to get under 10, you know, and, and really try to get to five, six, 7%, uh, it's it's going to be tough. I hope I can do it. Uh, I'm going to train my ass off and uh, and do everything I can to get there. But uh, even if I don't, 
the cool part is I'm going to learn so much this year. And then when I do this again next year, I'll, I'll be in a lot better position, right? So regardless of the outcome this year, I think uh, it's going to be an awesome learning experience. I'm really excited about it. And then we'll see, uh, you know, how things go in the next few years. And hopefully, uh, you know, we can kind of keep building back better every single year. So I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. So uh, we'll give you another update next week. We'll be 15 weeks out. And, uh, yeah, that's it. If this helps you out, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.